Yeah, so I, I mean, certainly um, TSM is is a leader, and it, it looks like uh, the facilities they build in the U.S. will be one to two years behind um, what uh, they are they are bringing up up in Taiwan. Um, but I, I think one one thing to re remember here is uh, that um, with TSM. Uh, and to a lesser extent with Stamps, Samsung, really, really with TSM, um, it's not just about building chip facilities. Um, they really need to have their their supply chain uh, migrate and build out in the U.S. Um, they need to have uh, the uh, the um, steps after uh, fabbing chips, uh, so yeah. test and assembly. Uh, be built out in, in this geography, and, and so it's. It, I, I think this is a good start, um, right? I, I don't think mm. at the end of the day um, we know in in five six years um, whether you know TSM will still be leading in Taiwan, um, whether <laughs> Intel uh, will have uh, been able to execute on its ambitions of mm. restoring its uh, leadership in in, in So there's still a lot to be seen. And you can almost forgive them for wanting to remain cutting edge in Taiwan so that they've got a little bit of that risk mitigation for anything that comes out of China as well. But, but can I ask you, because, you know, everyone's talking about the, the, the new fabs that, you know, TSMC and all of the other ones that are being subsidised. But can you contextualise it for us, like in terms of how much this adds to supply? Because if it's not a vast amount, then I can foresee a situation where it's who gets access to these chips, who gets precedence, especially if we're talking about the national security concerns? Is it the US government for, for their purposes? Is it the, the likes of NVIDIA? How does all of that work? Yeah, so, well, I don't think anyone's building factories simply because they have subsidies, uh, because at the end of the day, that's a, that's a losing game, right? Um, if you build out capacity and you can't fill it, regardless of, of how much um, money you got to, got to build it, um, you're still, because this is such a capital intensive industry, you're, you're still losing money. And so no one, no one wants to be there. Um, in, in terms of who are you going to see filling uh, these facilities, I, I, what TSM has said, and I think will again say, is the, the reason that they are investing outside of uh, Taiwan is because there is demand from specific customers for product to be built in uh, certain geographies. Uh, so in, in Japan, uh, they, they partnered with a few different companies. Um, that's why you see them building out in Japan. I, I think you'll see very much the same thing in the US, that there will be specific customers who want a portion of their output coming from the US geography, and those customers will get, will get precedence, at, at least initially, in terms of uh, chip supply. 